Hi everybody and welcome to your kettlebell session one for lower body. I'm Sarah and I'm going to be taking you through your PT session today. We're going to be working with kettlebells and we're going to be targeting the lower body. We'll look at three exercises today. Deadlift, swings and goblet squat. Okay, so we're obviously going to progress these exercises as our sessions go on. So today we're going to keep it quite simple, maintainable, doable. We're looking at endurance and strength. So we're going for rep range um, 15 and for the swings we're going to go a little bit higher into around 20 reps. Okay, so let's warm up and let's get mobilized ready for your PT session. So we'll start off with just warming up through the backs of the legs. So um, one of our exercises that we're doing will be a deadlift, a stiff leg deadlift, okay? So if we take our feet underneath our hips, roll the shoulders back, take the hands back behind the head, and we're going to just tip forwards into a deadlift. As you can see, I'm hinging forward from my hips and keeping my back nice and flat and my chest lifted. So join me in this. We're just going to do 10 reps, okay? So let's go for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're going to take an active stretch for the back of the leg. So we're going to lift one leg up, step, and change. Okay, so I want you to kick your toe up to your nose and reach across. So can you feel that active stretch through the back of your leg? This is really important for our warm-up, especially when we're doing our deadlifts. So we're preparing those muscles for the work ahead and ready for the swings as well. Let's do one more on each leg. Last one. Good. And then from here, same pattern but with a hip circle and walk. Let's go. So we're just warming up through the glutes, so we're waking those glutes up with our hip circles. Up and round and back together. Let's do four more. Three, two, and one. Great, now into swings. So with our kettlebell swings, I want you to think about the uh, first move of a, of a swing, think about your deadlift, okay? So the correct way to do a kettlebell swing is tipping forward from the hips and we're coming up, okay? So it's not a squat, it's a deadlift and swing. So the power is coming from the backs of the legs. If you can just give this a go. So tip forward and drive up. Now as you come up, the pace on the way up is faster than it is on the way down. So you explode up and then come back down. So you're not lifting with your shoulders. Again, the power is coming from the backs of the legs, the glutes and your lower backs working. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two and one. So it's really important that you get the kettlebell swing just right. If you squat and swing, then you're actually taking the weight of the kettlebell away from the midline of the body. And if you do that, if you squat and swing, you might find that your lower back will take over and you might hurt your lower back and we don't want that. So try not to, don't squat and swing. Can you see that you'd be more lifting through, th through your back if you did a squat and swing? Whereas deadlift and swing, the power is coming from where it should do. Backs of the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings and the lower back, okay? Our third exercise is the goblet squat. So we'll be taking the kettlebell upside down underneath the chin and let's come into a squat. So imagine you have your kettlebell like this. Elbows down, great shoulder stabilization, holding the kettlebell under the chin. I want you to come down and drive up. And we will be trying to come down so our elbows tap the thighs, okay? And I know we're just warming up, so if you're not going so low, that's absolutely fine. 
good. Keep it going. So we're sitting down into the heels. We're keeping the back, well, the chest lifted and the shoulders back. Let's do three more. Three, squeeze the glutes at the top. Two, and one. Great. Now, from here, let's just loosen up through the hips. So come down onto the floor. And can you bring a foot round to the hand and look forwards and draw the shoulders down. Now here, we're just opening up the hips. And when we open up the hips, it allows us to perform our squats easier and with better form, okay? So just with looser hips, you might just find that you'll just squat that little bit better. Change legs and just do the same on the other leg. Hold it there. And if you can, just push that knee out a little bit. Can you just see that? Good. And then drive that foot back into your plank position. Look down at your feet and walk back. Taking another active stretch for the backs of the legs. Roll all the way up. Last mobilization. We're going to come down into a squat and hold. Just have those elbows next to your knees and move side to side. And again, we're just loosening off through those hips. So we've got three exercises. Stiff leg deadlift, swings, and goblet squats. We'll do three rounds of each exercise. And then at the end, like always, we'll do our little finisher, okay? So coming up to standing. Woo! Kick your heels to your bum. My legs are warm after that. Are we ready to get started? So I will be giving you lots of um, coaching tips along the way, especially for those swings. So I really want you to get that swing right, okay? So we'll start with the stiff leg deadlift. Now I'm going to go a little bit heavier than I did in the upper body session because backs of my legs nice and strong, okay? So I'm going to go with a 10. Shoulders back, chest lifted. Are we ready? We're going for 15 repetitions, okay? Let's go. So tip forwards from the hips and up, drive, squeeze the glutes. One and up, two, three. I want you to look ahead and up, four. Can you feel that through the backs of your legs? Five. It's a great exercise to do before your, before your swings as well. Eight. Remember, we're getting to 15, okay? Nine. Ten. Let's go for five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Bend the knees and put the kettlebell down. Just give the legs a shake out. Well done. Okay, that's our round one. So we're going to repeat that two more times. I want you to remember to keep that back flat, draw up through the core, slight bend through the knees as we travel down and up, squeeze the glutes at the top, okay? Shall we try and think a pace of one, two down and one, two back up, okay? Let's go for round two. Picking up your kettlebell, draw the shoulders back, chest lifted. Let's go. 15 again. Up and squeeze. Lower and lift. All good. And up. Three. And exhale. Four. Good. Now, can you come up? Squeeze the glutes. Got it? Well done, we've got seven more, okay? Get to that 15. Seven, focus through both, both of the legs. Good, we're nearly there. Last four. Three. Two. And one, well done. 
bend the knees, pop the kettlebell down. Can you feel the backs of the legs working there and the glutes? So make sure you get that good squeeze at the top, okay? So we've got one more round and then we'll be moving in to our swings. And the backs of our legs will be certainly fired up and ready to work, okay? So one more round. Oh, a little bit out of breath there. Okay, we ready? So picking up the kettlebell. Take your time. Draw the shoulders back, chest lifted. Engage through the core. Feet are just wider than hips. Are we ready? I want you to really focus. As you tip forward this time, really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back, okay? Try that, let's go. 15 reps down and drive up. So can you see, watch my shoulders, they're staying back, two. And now they're not, look, three, so we don't want that. Can you see the difference? For the minute I did that, I felt it in my lower back and not in a good way, okay? So keep the shoulders retracted back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Six, keep working, watch from the side. Let's get the form right. Remember, our first session of lower body, when we get to session two, three and four, we will be progressing, we'll be working harder, okay? Lovely, keep it going. Four, how's it feeling? All good? Let's do one more. And up and squeeze, well done. Bend the knees, put the kettlebell down safely. Good job, well done everybody. So, we've done our three rounds of our deadlifts. Let's move on to our swings. I'm, I'm going to stay, for myself, I'm gonna stay with the 10 kilo. Okay, if you're new to kettlebells and you're new to the swing, okay, maybe just go a little bit lighter if you do have a lighter weight, okay? just to get the form right. However, don't go too light because sometimes I do feel that if it's too light, your form, um, I guess the weight dictates the form, okay? So if it's too light, sometimes it can be a little bit all over the place. So make sure it's a weight that you can feel, but, but a weight that you can um, maintain that form safely and correctly, okay? So, kettlebell swings, we're going for 20 reps. Again, think about that stiff leg deadlift and watch. I'm going just, just going to do a couple of reps for you. Just watch first. I'm going to tip forward, I'm going to fire up, okay? I'm going to do three more. Three, two, and one. Good, okay? Now remember, don't squat. Keep the kettlebell above the knees. So don't allow it to swing below the knees. Shoulders back, chest lifted, and the kettlebell's coming up to shoulder height. Shall we go? In three, two, one, let's go. 20 reps. One, two, three, four. Remember your pace. Quicker on the way up. We're halfway. 10, nine, Eight, arm straight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. And bend the knees, put the kettlebell down, and take your recovery. Now, can you feel that you're a little bit more out of breath, your heart rate has raised? Ooh. So, a little technique reminder. We're not squatting we're deadlifting. We are thrusting forwards through the hips, the power's coming from the backs of the legs. You are not lifting the kettlebell up with your shoulders. Backs of the legs, power and glutes, okay? And also, remember the pace, faster up and let it come back down. Explode up and back down. Round two, let's go. In three, two, one, let's go, 20 reps. Good. 
Nine, I'm going to face you. Don't jump round like that, will you? <laughs> 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Kettlebell down. <laughs> Woo. Okay, hope you're getting on okay with the swing. Let me know at the end of the session in the comments how you found the kettlebell swing. We've got one more round. Now, extra focus on the thrust and the squeezing of the glutes at the top, okay? Now, with the kettlebell swing, don't let it go below the knees. I know I'm going on and on, but it's important that you get it right. Don't let the kettlebell go below the knees. Almost imagine you're trying to hit yourself on the bottom with it. So it goes through the legs, okay? All this talking, I'm not really catching my breath. <laughs> Round three, let's do it. Shoulders back, chest lifted in three, two, one, let's go. Four. Don't worry, I'm counting. Six, with me, seven, my pace. Ten. Good, push your hips back. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Three rounds of swings done. As our sessions go on, there are so many variations of the kettlebell swing, okay? And we will be exploring those as we will with all of our PT sessions. We will be adapting, making you work harder, increasing weight, increasing reps. Okay, exercise three, your goblet squat. So you're going to hold the kettlebell underneath the chin upside down, okay? Now, I'm going to stay with the same weight, why not? going to turn it upside down and we're going into those squats and we're going to try and keep the kettlebell under the chin so as you squat don't allow the kettlebell to fall forward because that will pull on your back okay so let's go we're going for 15 repetitions three times round all right I know there's not much rest but we want to keep you working so Kettlebell under the chin. I'm going to go from the side just so you can see my posture. You can see my feet are facing forward, just wider than hips. Are we ready? Let's go. Sink down, pause, and drive back up. One. Let's hold and up. Three. Good. Four. Now don't rest that kettlebell on your chest. Five. That's classed as cheating. <laughs> Nice pace, eight, nine. How are we doing? We've got five more, okay? Can you feel your upper body working as well and your core? Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, well done, kettlebell down. Don't you find that it raises your heart rate that little bit more, having to have the kettlebell underneath your chin, so your shoulders are activating, your core's working to keep that kettlebell there, extra work for the core, and of course, quads and glutes are working. Did you notice that we did the pause at the bottom? So we're doing that because I want time under tension. I don't want you to go up, down, up and down really quick. I want the body to know that it's working. Give those muscles chance to work. Okay, whilst I've been talking, I hope you've been resting and having a drink. Round two, let's go, same thing. So hold that kettlebell underneath the chin. Chest lifted, elbows in. Round two, let's go, one. Driving up through the heels, sinking down into the heels. Five, six, good. We're on it, yes? Stay with my pace. 
that's nine, and push. Perfect, five more, stay with it. Inhale, exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Three more, three, two, and one. Well done, pop the weight down. Woo, how are we doing? We feel that? Heart rate's raised? Yes, good. So we're gonna do that one more time in a second. Just take a drink, have a little recovery, and then we're going to run through our little finisher. And we'll do one set of deadlifts, one set of swings, and one set of squats. One after the one after each other, okay? Without any rest. So that will be our little finisher. So we've got one more round of squats. Now, just a little side note. If anybody feels as if their heels don't want to stay down on the ground, okay, that, that could be because you've got tight calves. So if you feel like your heels are lifting a little bit or you feel like you naturally need to take a wider stance to get down lower, that just means that you've got a flexibility issue in your calf. Now, obviously you need to stretch more, but a little fix for that when you're doing your squats is to just put something underneath your heels. Like if you had a couple of discs like this at home, or a couple of magazines, thick magazines, underneath your heels like this, just to lengthen that calf, and then you'll find that you'll probably get down lower, okay? So if you need to try that, then you can do. Let's do our last round. Set three, in three, two, one, let's go. And I'm keeping that kettlebell lifted underneath my chin, engaging through the core. And I'm having that pause at the top, at the bottom. Here's eight. That's it, let's get this finished. Nine. Ten. How's those legs feeling now? Five. Four. Time under tension and up. Three, two, one more, and one. Well done. 15 squats done. Okay, very quick rest. I'm going to do that finisher. So, 15 deadlifts, 20 swings, 15 squats, and you're done. Okay? So, Picking up the kettlebell, first exercise, back into those stiff leg deadlifts. In three, two, one, let's go. Tip forwards and back up, one. Focus on the backs of the legs, both of them. Two, squeeze the glutes at the top. Three, shoulders back, chest lifted. Seven, stay with my pace. Eight, nine, ten. Let's go for five more. Five, then it's straight into the swings, okay? Four, three, two, and one. Twenty swings in three, two, one. Let's go. One. Two, thrust the hips forward. Five, arms come up to shoulder height. Halfway. Last ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Turn the kettlebell upside down into those squats in three, two, one. Let's go. Pause at the bottom and drive back up. One, two, 
three. How low? Come on. Four. Nice and deep with those squats. Engage the core. Kettlebell stays under the chin. We've got five to go, okay, team? Five and push. Four and up. Three and up. Two and drive up. One more and up. Well done. Your little finisher. Nailed. Kick your heels to your bum. Just release off through those legs. Ah. Well done, team. So, deadlifts, swings, goblet squats. Nailed. All right. So, just rotate round. Now, don't forget on the swings, on the deadlift, your lower back does work. Okay, so you are activating through the lower back. Come down onto the floor, but you shouldn't feel like you've um, you shouldn't feel like you've um, pulled your lower back, obviously. So just watch your form with those swings. Okay, take a foot onto your knee, and let's just stretch out through the glutes. Good stuff, and release. So let me know at the end of our session how you got on, especially with those swings. Did you get the deadlift and the swing? Could you feel the activation through the backs of your legs? Did you feel out of breath like me? I hope you did. Come on up to standing. Take a foot to your bum. Great, and release it. Get those extra stretches in through those legs. Okay, and then really importantly, backs of the legs, because they worked on the deadlifts, worked on the swings. Relax the head and the shoulders. And now bend the knees, roll all the way up. Good, and now can you just squat down, dare I say that word, squat down. And we're just going to arch up through the lower back. So we're stretching off through that lower back into a standing cat-cow position. So hold and then release it. Look forward. So drop the hips. And let's do that one more time in each position. Curl up and hold. And release it. And then come all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Guys, thank you very much for joining me for your week one, your first kettlebell lower body PT session with me. Have a great day and I will see you next time.